Hi everyone, I am here to show you how to make five different types of cauliflower in under an hour and we will be making cauliflower rice. The main player of all these dishes of course is cauliflower. I want to tell you just a little bit about the cauliflower first. Number one, I use the frozen kind of cauliflower only. Of course, everything that's fresh is better for you. I know that, number one, for me, the frozen one is practical. And secondly, the frozen one, I notice doesn't have that, um, I don't know how you want to call it, it doesn't have that cauliflower-ish flavor that's too strong. Does that make any sense? Anyway, that works for me. So I t tear up the bag, put it in the strainer right here, and the key thing that you want to do is make sure your cauliflower is completely strained. Otherwise, you end up with a soggy rice. So what I do is I keep it here in the strainer and I stir it. It has to be completely defrosted also. So I stir it, get as much water out as I can, and then I actually take the paper towel and I you know, just go through the rice and make sure I get the rest of the water out. This helps me to not get a soggy rice. It's so important for me. I don't want to have any rice that's soggy. But we're gonna make today um, just a simple onion and celery rice, cauliflower rice, and then we'll do one with shrimp and vegetables, and then another one with chicken and curry, stir fry, and then we'll do just a plain white cauliflower rice, and then my favorite, which is the coconut cauliflower rice. Um, I'm gonna start with the coconut first. I mean, we'll do all of these at the same time and it just helps me personally save time. So I would turn on three different burners and have three pots going at once. But anyway, I'm not affiliated with any brand here, but I love to use the unsweetened first pressed coconut milk. Any coconut milk that's not sweetened will work. Pour that in the pot and get that going because it's milk now but i want it reduced as much as possible so i'm going to turn that on and get that going while we start with other things another thing that i prepared ahead of time is my tomato sauce now if you know tomato right there tomato takes a long time to cook boil down i want my tomato completely completely cooked so what i did was i blended the tomatoes um, with lots of seasonings. Everything that I do is very well seasoned with lots of seasoning, a little bit of oil, Himalayan salt, and cook down until the tomato is completely cooked. We'll use that for some other things. Um, so let's start with the um, simple, plain, white cauliflower rice. I'm gonna do that first because I will be using the same pot for different things so <laughs> these are just things that i use to save time okay i'm not gonna stand here and wash 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 dishes but what i do and this is just for the plain one we're gonna cut down the onion here chop up the onions fresh onion here because you know your onion again will caramelize when you stir fry it so what that does is basically it will produce some more sugar when you stir fry it that's why fried onion is sweet so you want to go easy on the onions so I'm gonna have just a little bit of olive oil here very little olive oil and we are making our first version of cauliflower rice, which is just very simple stir fry onion and cauliflower. And that just gives me sort of a white rice, white cauliflower rice, which I can eat with um, anything that calls for white rice. I love to have a variety um, when I meal prep. That's why I am making five different kinds of cauliflower. Even though it's cauliflower, I don't want it to taste the same, the same every single day. So, we we'll stir fry our onions here. And a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Just a little. Here. And this is 
just for the plain white rice. So a little bit there. Stir fry that. Um, cauliflower is really very delicate because it has been um, frozen and thawed. It's not going to take too long to cook, so you just don't want to handle it too much, too, too much in the pot. So my onions are browning here very fast. And because I don't have too much time to waste, okay, that's why I'm cooking everything at once and I like to cook fast, okay? So this is gonna give me, I think, just one or two servings here of cauliflower rice. That's why I don't want the same thing in my lunch box every single day. So this is a stir fry, the white one. And this is pretty much it. I would just stir fry it in here. Hmm. A little bit more salt. But yes, um, this tastes, it tastes really good. Just stir fry onion and cauliflower, that's it. That gives me a white rice, which you can eat with whatever you want. So, I'm gonna put this one away and I will use that same pot. Yes, just the same pot. Um, this one here is ready, so I'm gonna turn this off. And this is cauliflower rice. Again, it's been frozen, defrosted, so you don't have to cook it for too long. When you cook this cauliflower rice too long, it gets soft, it gets soggy, it's, ooh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna be eating this cauliflower all week long, so it has to taste good. So let's get this out here. Get this out. This is actually just one serving for me. I like to make small servings, um, just because Something like cauliflower, it has been frozen once, so I will not freeze these again. These are good to go for me. Okay, so let's turn this on and get it ready for the next thing. And I'm gonna show you. This is just a plain cauliflower rice, see? See, all I have to do is put my protein and I don't know anything else, some kind of sauce. And this is one serving that's done. I want every single serving of my cauliflower to be different. That's why I'm making different things. So next on the list, we have um, onion and celery this time. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I will add celery to it. And I'm going to show you. Let's see, where's my chopping board? Get that here. I don't use too much onion. Again, this onion is going to caramelize and when it caramelizes, it has just a little bit more sugar. So I'm very careful with the amount of onion that I put in my food. The amount of fresh stir fry onion. You don't want to do too much of that. So again, I'm going to make another serving here of cauliflower rice. This time, I'm going to give it just a little extra touch and make it a bit more interesting for me by adding the celery. So again, this is the onion here. Let's turn that burner on. And this just speeds things up for me. This is the celery. I'm gonna use just a little bit of that. So I actually use this little gadget to grate some celery because I don't want it too thick. Um, I don't want big chunks of celery in my cauliflower rice, so I'm just gonna grate that straight into the oil. See, that fits it up for me. There, just a little bit more. So the star of this dish is gonna be the celery, mm. 
the flavor, I love it. I love that. So let's stir fry that. See, just all very, very simple. And in this pot here, I'm gonna get this one going also. Again, just to save time. I don't have so much time to sit here um, in the kitchen all the time, cooking. Let's see, what's wrong with my burner? Let's try the other one. Whoops. Huh. There we go. There. So this is a celery. I'm gonna add some tomato to this one because I want to make um, the cauliflower rice. Let's see what we have. We have chicken and cauliflower and curry. So I'm gonna put some tomato into that one and start heating it up. Okay, so this is how I navigate my kitchen. Everything going on at once because I don't have too much time. So if you're busy, you wanna to try to do all these to save time, you can do it all at once. So I'm gonna have my tomato in there. It's gonna cook, it's already cooked. And I'm gonna heat that up. Okay, so our onion and celery, these are already um, cooked. So I'll add the cauliflower to that and a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. There, one serving. That's because I don't want to eat the same thing every single day. <laughs> so, there. This has the, mm. <sighs> that smells. The aroma is amazing. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. Turn that down. One thing I definitely like to add to this is pesto. It's the traditional basil pesto. You want to be careful with this because there is some cheese in here. Very little cheese, but I just love that um, basil and roasted garlic. I love the flavor of pesto. So I'm going to add that to my cauliflower rice, the one I made with celery and onions. Okay, we're going to stir fry that. Blend it all in. And that is done. And I will use that same pan for something else. Guys, I'm trying to save time. I'm not trying to be in the sink, wash, wash, wash. That's why I cook basically the same base of food all together and I love variety, okay? So I'm not gonna eat. I do want to get my servings of vegetables in, but um, my journey has been so long. I got sick and tired of eating salads every day. In fact, I don't wanna eat any salads anymore. So I don't wanna do that. And then um, I'm just trying to get more creative with the cauliflower because at one point I was just sick and tired of taking the cauliflower bag and putting it in the microwave. Oh. I got tired of that, so I decided to make it a little bit more interesting here. So this guy is ready. I'm telling you, I wish, I wish you could smell the aroma in this kitchen. It's just, oh, incredible. So this is our onion, celery, and pesto, if you want to call it that, but it's mainly the onion and the celery that give it a flavor that is out of this world. Oh my goodness. I wish, I wish, I wish you could smell this. Mm. <laughs> so, there we go. I don't know if you can see it. This is a cauliflower rice with celery, um, pesto, and onions. So those are the plain ones. Now we're gonna kick it up a notch here and make it a little bit more interesting. Um, this is the tomato that's cooking. And then this one is gonna be the coconut um, cauliflower rice. And then this guy here, we're just gonna make, let's see what we have on the menu. 
we're gonna do this one here with the vegetables and the shrimp so what I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of olive oil to my wok oh my gosh I <laughs> This guy is about 10 years old. I use it every single day. Do you have a pot in your kitchen you are attached to? Man, as much as I've traveled or relocated, this pot goes with me. I love it. Okay, so our coconut milk is boiling down nicely here. And I'm gonna need a different wooden spoon everything now here so right here again just a little bit of onions here we're going to stir fry these onions and then stir fry our vegetables and then i'm going to show you my chicken chicken okay again just go really easy with your onions ladies because these things tend to caramelize. I'm gonna turn this one down here also. Okay, let's see if this is stir. Good. So right here, I have grilled chicken. I did grill this outside this morning, so it's got that smoky flavor and I have grilled shrimp as well. And the way I season this is a three-step process. Everything was purchased frozen, and so I came home, put a little bit of salt on it while it was frozen, and let it defrost with the salt. When it was completely defrosted, then I seasoned it with just a bunch of seasoning of African origin and Jamaican origin, and I put some usual things, you know, like salt, but a lot of seasoning, very little salt. And then I marinated it in the fridge overnight. And then I took them out real early, let them come to room temperature, and I threw it out in the grill. Oh. <laughs> My goodness, the aroma is incredible. So let's see, I don't want anything to mix. So we're gonna do our chicken right here. This is gonna be chicken and curry. So I have the grilled, Chicken tenders. These are grilled chicken tenders. Here. Mmm. I love it. And then I have some fresh herbs I got from my garden. Basil. A little bit of fennel. These. Ah, amazing. I'm gonna chop this directly into the pot here. To give it some extra flavor right here. And again, your cauliflower is always going to be last. And that's because it's been frozen and defrosted, so it's not gonna take too much to cook that cauliflower. And I don't want anything to be soggy. So, right here, this is a coconut that takes the longest. It's almost done. And my tomato is also almost completely dry. So this is chicken. And I do have some fresh frozen vegetables here. And I'm gonna add this to the chicken. Mm. A little bit of pink Himalayan salt, just very little salt. And here, this is my secret seasoning. It's got Jamaican herbs, again, Jamaican herbs, African herbs, and then we typically grind ginger and garlic and add to that. So this is just my seasoning blend here, I'm gonna add that to the vegetables that are cooking. And this would be our chicken and vegetable stir fry cauliflower rice, okay? These tomatoes here, these are done. 
So this is just a um, like a dirty rice, just like a dirty rice. So I'm gonna add some seasoning to that, the same seasoning, there's nothing wrong with that. Or you can use any seasoning that you choose, just whatever you like. So I'm gonna let these vegetables cook down. They have to cook until they are completely dry. I don't want anything soggy. Our coconut here is dry. So I'm gonna add the shrimp. Remember the grilled shrimp which we grilled outside on the grill? We grilled outside on the grill, how about that? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna add that grilled shrimp to the coconut and let that continue to boil. I want it as dry as possible. Now over here, this version of the cauliflower rice is gonna, it's gonna have a little bit of curry to it. And this is Jamaican curry. Now you can use any curry, but I mean, I just love the Jamaican spices. Oops, oops. I think I have too much in there. No, not really. Okay. We are cooking everything until it's completely dry. If you want your cauliflower rice to um, if you don't want it clumpy, you don't want it soft and soggy, you don't want it sticky, make sure that all the sauces or your base should be completely dry. I think this one is ready first, and this is just tomato, and we're going to make a simple curry, cauliflower curry rice. Ooh, that almost did not come out. So, that's it here. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Right, I'm gonna turn that down. I'll turn that off and just leave that there for a second. Mm. So that's done. And I'm gonna add some cauliflower to that. Right here. So this guy here is basically ready. Looks amazing. Looks amazing. You don't need to handle this too much. This actually comes up to about three servings, you know, because I had the other vegetables in there also. So let's look and see what's happening to our coconut here. That's not dry enough. Let me turn that off. And this guy is done. You don't want to overcook, you don't want to overhandle it. So that's done. Let's see. Well, you can't see it. I'm going to show you everything in pictures at the end of this, but anyway, this here is the grilled chicken, vegetable, cauliflower rice. And over here, the coconut is almost ready, but not quite. I want it to be a lot more, to be drier than that. Mm, I don't know if you, I wish you could smell it, but you just can't. The aroma is incredible. See how fast that goes? Put some variety in your meals. Don't eat things that are bland. Don't eat things that are not tasty. Just take one thing and be creative. And I came up with this cauliflower things because I needed to get my vegetables in. Um, and I have different things I do with other vegetables also. The leafy ones like spinach and kale, I tend to either bake those in the oven with some eggs and just make my breakfast muffins out of those or I use those in smoothies and I'll show you some different things next time. But today we are focusing on cauliflower. I can show you so many things that you can make with cauliflower. 
and you can even serve this to your kids and they won't know it's cauliflower. So this is my um, chicken and vegetable stir fried cauliflower rice. Ooh, the smell, the aroma is amazing. So I'm gonna take this out, I'm already done. This is the third thing that I'm making. All done. cauliflower rice because I want that coconut to boil down completely so it's not soggy. I think it is it's almost ready now. Mm, almost mm. <laughs> I love coconut <laughs> I love food that's how I got in trouble with my weight <laughs> So, we're gonna add a cauliflower here. Don't over process, don't cook it too long. Um, I wanted to add just a little bit more here because that curry seems overpowering. So, now there's shrimp in here, there's coconut in this last one. So this one, you have to be careful with your portion size, this guy right here. Have to be careful because it's got your healthy oils, which is the coconut, and it's got shrimp, which is protein as well. So you really want to factor that in when you are um, into your daily calorie requirements, if you're doing that, I don't know. But that's done now. You turn that off, and then I'm gonna give this one a little blast here because the curry was just a little too much and that's done so everything is done so we have done cauliflower rice in five different ways I had just a simple white rice which was just stir fry onion and then the cauliflower itself and then we had some a cauliflower and celery with a little bit of pesto we have that in another form and then we have the chicken and vegetable cauliflower rice and then I have my coconut and shrimp cauliflower rice and then a simple curry um, and tomato based cauliflower rice that's it I'm gonna send you pictures at the end of this but this is how you get your five to seven seven servings of vegetables in one day and it doesn't take long at all so thank you so much and let's see let me give this one more stir and then it will be ready and guess what i do next rinse 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 throw it all in the dishwasher and call it a day see it took me less than two hours to prepare grilled chicken and um, tenders grilled chicken leg quarters and grilled shrimp and then I have my vegetables for the whole week and I am done with my meal prep see you next time bye